The days are certainly getting shorter at a really quick clip here in the Northern Hemisphere. Now, if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, the opposite is occurring. So your days are expanding. More light is available to you. Now, that is simply a matter of perspective. Of course, the amount of light that is available to everyone is constant. It is constantly streaming in. It is constantly available. If you were in space, off the planet, you would see that the light is streaming in from the sun always, 24-7. It never leaves. But we find ourselves here on the planet. And based on where you are on the planet, the cycles may be a little bit different, right? So now in the Northern Hemisphere, we are entering fall. So the days are becoming shorter, meaning there is less light available to you. And if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, the opposite is occurring. The days are seem to be expanding. More light is available. The light is around longer. Now, this video, uh, I'm going to talk about the importance of these cycles and what you need to do to take full advantage of this and to stay out of your head, stay anchored in your body, and look at it from a spiritual perspective, from an ascension perspective, because the fall, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, represents an amazing and powerful opportunity for growth and expansion as the daylight seems to vanish, and it's happening very quickly now, you may find yourself starting to feel a little bit maybe depressed, a little bit down. All of those things you like to do over the summer are now coming to an end. We're entering this period where the leaves are going to be off the trees. Things are going to look very dark. Things may look dingy. What are you going to do, right? We have this, this thought of spring, which is you know, down the road a little bit where things are going to return and rebirth. And that's the cycles of the planet and the cycles of growth and the cycles of life. But fall, the harvest, this is an important part of your growth because you are being directed to turn it inward where the light shines 24-7, right? We look outside, we see, boy, darkness. There's a lot of darkness there. And you could identify with that and you could start to feel depressed or feel down feel a little bit heavy. But what's happening is you're being shown through the cycles, through your higher self and the nudges from your guides to turn it inward to find the light. When the light is absent externally, we turn it inward to reconnect with it right here in your heart. You are the light. Over the next five or six months, it's very important that you become as present as you can, focus it inward, come into your body and allow yourself to feel everything that is rising up from within. This is a very powerful opportunity for healing, an opportunity to release everything that's been weighing you down or anchoring you. As the days get shorter, the, the distractions that we used to keep ourselves you know, distracted from all of these heavier emotional feelings, they start to go away, right? And we're left with ourselves, just being present. I know on those cold winter days when all you're thinking about is the sun and the beach or being out hiking or whatever that may look like for you, think of those as opportunities now to bring it back inside, become present and feel everything that is wanting to rise up from within. This is a huge expansion opportunity less distractions externally, less light, meaning we need to focus inward to reconnect with the light that we are. The light that is forever abundant and present within. That's how you start to release these chains and release, release these ties that keep you bound to lower frequency timelines. So you go inside, you follow this guidance, you start to expand your field more of that darkness tends to rise up and be alchemized into the light. Your presence gives you the ability to do that. So these cycles that come and these cycles that go, these expansion periods, these contraction periods, it's almost like a breath, right? Breathing in and breathing out, right? We expand and we contract. These are opportunities for growth and the shakeup of our external reality reminds us the fluidity of all of these cycles and a potent, powerful opportunity to reconnect 
inside. It's almost like taking a time out, right? You could give a child a time out by sticking them in the corner, letting them sit, letting them contemplate and feel their feelings. That's what we're doing with our inner child that wants to distract us. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere, things are cold. Maybe you want to run south, right? Maybe you want to go down to the Southern Hemisphere where it's sunny, where it's bright, where you could go out and have fun, right? Distractions from the cycle that you're in, which is calling you inward to reconnect with that light. We spend so much time looking for who we are externally by the circumstances and the people that we interact with. We need that for validation, right? That's what our inner child is looking for, validation. When you could connect with your truth, your multidimensional aspects, the truth of your divine light, all of a sudden you don't need any of that validation. You know that you carry it with you all the days of your life. These seasons, these cycles are doorways and opportunities to reconnect with that. So I would ask that you spend more time as the days continue to get shorter by going inward, finding the real you, the multidimensional you, the high frequency energy, the love, the compassion, the abundance, the grace, the joy. Sit with that, embody that, allow yourself to feel all of the density that's been blocking you. Allow that to rise up, to be felt. Sit with that, feel it. You will feel the light return inside before it manifests externally as what we call spring, right? You are creating this or cultivating this state of being internally. You have control over how you feel. So it's now's the time to not distract yourself. Don't try to find things to pull you away from the dense heaviness that's coming up to be alchemized. Sit in presence with it. Feel it. Allow the reality of the fading light to guide you inside, to reconnect with that light that you are, and you will start to realize that you have been in control and connected to your higher self and your guidance this entire time. If you've been participating in my quantum experiment, I'm going to put a link to the video below if you have not yet done that. The results are in, and you guys have had some amazing results from simply following the instructions in the video and following your guidance. You have seen that you have been guided all along, and for those of you that have participated in that experiment up to this point, I am so, so grateful, and thank you for sharing your comments and liking those videos that were put in your path. If you're interested in joining that experiment, it can be done at any time. The link is in the description. I'm going to link that video in the end screen as well. Give it a try. It will prove to you that you are being guided. Thank you so much.